Hi everyone, today I'd like to present a quick overview of changes to the approval routing for the Hourly Employee Electronic Timesheet System, or HEET as it acronyms out to be, I guess, HEAT, um, that are coming very shortly. For some of you, this is new and maybe not even a need, but for others, this is a critical need and is seriously impacting your areas. So the current system is driven by orgs and it doesn't align well with the way departments are assigning oversight responsibility for different staff's time versus their budgets. But there were a few things that needed to be considered when we were modifying the approval and review process. So the feedback that we received and the information that people did share with us from the campuses was that we had some critical needs. Number one was that we needed to drive the review and approval routing process by employee, not by orgs. We also needed to continue to allow approvers and reviewers to move the employees reported time between different budgets and allow that to happen for all the employees budgets, not just for the few that are in that org. And we needed to add an extra level of review to accommodate employees who report to a different department. So let's take a look at the approval routing and what that will look like with the new modifications. So we start off, the employee submits the timesheet, they've gone in and done that, and then the timesheet is reviewed and approved to forward to payroll. Payroll receives the approved timesheet to process. So in this scenario, we only need one level of review and approval. That is our current approval level. This is a level one approver and is required for each timesheet. Now, we have some approvers who have need for another person to review the timesheet first, and currently that's our level two, it's our reviewer level. So, so far this is similar to how our current routing works. We have a level one or a required approver level, and we have a reviewer who can assist the approver um, to review the timesheet as well. But now what we're going to be doing is adding a new level. We're, we're calling it reports to, and it will allow for a third person to look at the timesheet. And the level, the reviewer and reports to levels or level two and level three reports are optional. So you don't have to have them. The names of the levels are not indicative of their responsibilities for the employees. It was a way to identify the three levels. So currently there are departments that have one reviewer and, sorry, one approver and multiple reviewers to accommodate the permutations of who works for who and who's reviewing the budget. But with the modified process, an approver can assign a reviewer for any reason they want, such as it's their assistant and he checks the timesheet, or this is the person who the hourly employee works for and she's going to check the hours first. It's just a person who can look at the timesheet in addition to the approver. The only time the third level or the reports to would be used is if you require a third person to look at the timesheet as well. So if we look at the functionality of the levels, you can see that all three will be able to see all the timesheets assigned to them. They'll be able to move reported time between different positions. They'll be able to return timesheets to the employee for correction. The difference comes after they've looked at the timesheet and then they submit it. The report to two person, when they submit it, it will show submitted for review and it's going to then go anywhere but it will show as submitted for review. The reviewer when they look at it it will show and they submit it it will show submitted for approval and when the approver um, completes their review and submits a timesheet it will be approved for processing. At any time however all three levels will be able to see all the timesheets that are assigned to them and be able to see um, whether it's been forwarded already by any of the other levels for the um, for submission. So what's next? Currently, we are in the timesheet period ending February 15th. We're not making any changes to the routing. We will be making changes during the next pay period, which is the February 16th through the March 15th time period. And we'll update the routing processes and enter in as approvers. Those people listed on the TEAs as primary managers. We will then notify all approvers they can go into the system and add in any people they'd like as reviewers and reports to as appropriate for each employee. We'll also try to do that based on the current setups. However, um, since there could actually be multiple people, we may not get it quite right. So the new process will also allow you to make changes to the assigned approvers, reviewers, and reports to as needed. We'll also then at that point be able to come um, create a new tutorial video for each for the employees and for their approvers, reviewers, and reports due 
so they can see the new functionality of the system. The look well, at that point will have been different enough to where we think a new video is definitely warranted. And we'll update the handbooks as, um, as best as we can, as quickly as we can. So really continuing thanks to everyone on the campuses and our team here for their collaboration to make this system a system that better, needs all, better meets all of our needs in a way that um, really makes us all a little bit happier at the end of the day. Thank you. Bye.